Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Symphony and today I'm going to be showing you guys my current favorite curly hair products. I'm not going to make this intro too long, but like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, your family, and I hope it helps. Let's just get right into it. The first video. product I have for you guys is, honestly, everybody already knows. Everybody knows how magical coconut oil is. And you know, I'm just here. I'm joining the coconut oil boat. I've been on that boat for four years, five years, since ever since I went natural. This right here. Bruh. Okay, literally coconut oil, you need to make sure that it's organic because that defeats the purpose of having, you know, natural products. Like, make sure it's all good. Um, I got this from Walmart for maybe about $7. And a little goes a long way with this. It has lasted me months, and I'm only, like, right here. So, it's a good investment. Um, it makes your hair healthy, shiny. It helps really well with um, low porosity hair and moisturizing that uh, those rough patches that you may have. So, honestly, if you're searching for an oil to just commit to, Next product I have for you guys is the OGX Coconut Water Weightless Hydration um, Conditioner. I bought this maybe a month ago and I originally used it as a deep conditioner which worked great. I mixed this with some coconut oil, threw it on my head, had it sit overnight. And then I started using this as a um, leave-in conditioner when I did my, um, my wash and goes. And it has worked really well for me. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It leaves it with a great smell. It's very hydrating. Um, I can tell that my hair takes well to it. And even like the coarse rough patches I have in the back of my head, they still get moisturized if I saturate it in this conditioner. So definitely a good buy. Next product I have for you guys is the Coconut and Hibiscus Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo. This is a little, little raggedy looking, but... This is the only shampoo I've used since I transitioned to natural and that was like five years ago. So I've been a committed fan of this shampoo. It has just, it makes me feel good because I know that it's all natural and that there's nothing bad because some shampoos have some crazy acids in them and they can totally mess your hair up. But this right here, trustworthy. And then going off of that line, my next product for you guys is the uh, Coconut Hibiscus a curl enhancing smoothie by Shea Moisture as well. It's the same line as that shampoo. Wow. This is just like the only cream that I have found is like thick enough to hold a curl but it doesn't weigh it down and it doesn't leave a cast. Like there, I've literally never experienced anything bad with this product within the last five years. So, if that's any consolation, this, all right. The next product I have for you guys is also from this uh, coconut, coconut water line. It's the Coconut Water Weightless Hydration Oil. Um, I spray this on whenever I just feel like my hair needs a little bit of help. Oh, if it's calling out for help, I will spray it on before I go to bed, when I wake up in the morning, after I do any styles, I kind of just use this to like seal everything in. And I can really tell a difference because even when I like start playing with my hair afterwards, I can feel like the moisture on my hands because of this oil. So this was definitely a good purchase. This uh, little bottle was like $8, which is a little pricey, but I feel like it was a great investment. So. The next product I have for you guys is the Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel. This I just started using. I just got on the Eco Styler bandwagon and I have found that I really like this gel. I usually am not a big fan of gels because the majority of the gels I have tried they leave flakes. Like even if my hair is clean they'll still leave flakes and it's just like ugh. But this does not leave flakes unless you have a lot of buildup. But if you just shampooed and you put this on as a last layer to uh, hold everything in, you're not going to see any flakes. And with this product, it does leave a cast a little bit, but once you start messing with your hair a little, it will definitely break the cast. Um, this little thing was like $3, so it's very inexpensive. Definitely would recommend it. The last product I have for you guys is going to be this Aussie Moist um, Quenches 
thirsty locks it is only like three dollars first of all for this low for this for this big bottle three dollars i love that it has a pump first of all let me tell you about that because when it, you're in the shower and your hands are all slippery this is gonna help you out this conditioner i use in the shower when i'm detangling and it has a lot of slip and if you just drench your hair in this conditioner detangling is going to be so easy for you and even if you use this as a deep conditioner or a leave-in it's going to be great like i promise you i swear by this buy it well youtube that is all i have for you today if you could like comment and subscribe and help us this out you know i really appreciate it and um just let me know if you guys have any other video ideas so until next time bye well I think it's a wrap.